Hey, Mike. Hey, girl. What's up? Are you ready to do? Uh, you ready to do Alexander? I'm always ready to do Alexander. Me too. Me too. Without an E. Without an E. Alexander. Alexander. <laughs> Uh, this beer is from Schilling Beer Company in Littleton, New Hampshire. It is Alexander. This is, I guess, this is their flagship, right? Essentially, I assume so. I assume it. Yeah, because this was the one that that everyone that that we all got like down here first. Yep. In regular rotation, it's a five percent Czech style pilsner. Um, in full disclosure, as you're going to see, we've had this beer before. <laughs> uh, full disclosure at Beer Tube Palooza. Two years ago, I drank uh, like two cases of this over the weekend. You brought two cases? I thought you brought yeah. one. Uh, I, I brought a case and a half plus a couple of things, but I drank all of it. Yeah. It's, yeah. This is going to be more of a love letter. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We are using our tubing our glasses. I look how gorgeous money. that is. Sylvaticus tubing her glass, and Mike has his tree house. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So, uh, you, this you beer. Can't, you can't escape the nose. You can't escape no, it. No, no. Just... I was just going to. I, I, I got. I lost my train of thought, and I was like, oh, man, there it is. That's the smell. That's the. That's the. That's the, that's the stuff. Oh, yeah. It looks like a, looks like a urine sample, which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Looks like my urine samples for sure. Because if anybody, you know, that's probably the best description you can give a beer. Because what if somebody is like on a walk, walking their dog? I've done it. Listen in a beer review, right? You're not watching it. Everyone knows what a urine sample looks like. So that's true. like a, a yellow, yellow urine sample. So yeah, it's a very descriptive term <laughs> for a color of a lager. Sure. <laughs> I, don't heads I, 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 don't I, I don't know why I say it so often. It looks like, it looks like a piss sample. <laughs> this one is. I had a pretty good head. I had about two fingers. You have a good, yours dissipated relatively quickly too, though. I still have two. I did have three solid fucking fat ass fingers. I um, washed your glass. <laughs> fair enough. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's gorgeous. It looks like gold, you know, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. It's, um, it's see-through. If I didn't have such a thick wall, wide glass, it'd probably be even better, but it just yeah. looks awesome. It really does. Do you want to get a nose? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, that's what that smells like. It's spicy. It's I got a nice uh, greenness to it. It's it grassy. A little bit of like lemon rind. Some pithy um, citrus grains. It's almost it's, it's amazing. I mean, come on. I can't say anything else. I say we just drink it. Oh, dude, that, you know that's a hundred percent. Cheers. Clink. That was a good one. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> yep. It, it's it's everything you want a Czech style pilsner to be, right? Yeah. Um. Full disclosure. Um. Not only have I had this a couple, two, three dozen times. Um. They're also my favorite New Hampshire brewery. They're my favorite American lager ish brewery, traditional style brewery. They do other stuff besides lagers, but um, to me, if you're looking for an American example of a Pilsner, this is it. This is the one. Yeah. It is beautiful. It's crispy. It's spicy a little bit. It, it's smooth. It's delicate. It has nice floral hops. It has that awesome cereal grain character almost like i i say it sometimes like cheerios kind of um it's it got a greenness to it it has a little bit of citrus bite to it it is just beautiful i can't i can't be partial i can't i'm sorry i tried can't 
No, I, I, I <laughs> everything you said, like, I, I don't even, I, I should have just not been here and you should have just, <laughs> everything you've been saying is a hundred, I'm a hundred percent in agreement. Like, yeah, I, I, I would hundred percent stand by that. This is my favorite New Hampshire brewery as well. My favorite lager brewery in the country. It's, I don't know. It's in the conversation. It's in the conversation for me. It's in the top, at least three. Yeah, I, probably. I mean, yeah, shit, like, I can tell you my favorite movie today. Tomorrow's not the same one. <laughs> Right, right, 100%. <laughs> but like, and just like the availability of this beer, it's usually very easy to get. The price point, if the stores, you know, it, it, it adhere to like MSRP and all that stuff, don't check out the price. 13, maybe sometimes 11 bucks. Uh, mine was 15, but that's. Mine was because... mine was 16, but I got yeah. it in, yeah, I got it in Borica, so I expected it to be. The, the uh, Jack's Abbey I got, the post ship was 11 bucks, which is normally what I would expect for this, but I guess. Did Reed just get this for like ten or eleven bucks recently? That's what he said. But think about where he got it, though. Yeah, the no. place probably didn't just was like, oh, whatever. So what? He 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 messaged us raving about it. It didn't. Yeah. It didn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny the, the amount of times we talk about this, and he was just like, "Hey, you guys know you guys had this one?" I'm like, <laughs> like yeah, where have you week? Been? This week? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this week. What do you mean? Um. The thing I, 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 I will say to add on, like, and, and it's everything that you said, but the, what the part that, that I love them, I think I love the most about this beer yep. is that bite that you yep. get. Like there is that, that hop bite. It, it's that it's crisp. It's clean in the front, but then it gives you this like lovely bitter bite on the back end that yep. you don't get from, you, you don't get as big of a oomph from a, a lot of these beers, but yeah, this, this one kind of lets you know it's there and, and holds on. Yeah. Um, it, it is. That nice sharp bitterness that makes you want to take another sip, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, and I, I feel like the can's the only thing that give it to me. Sometimes I've had it on draft. Well, it, on draft of the brewery is different, but I've had it on draft like locally a few times, and it's little. It hasn't been as sharp, so I don't know if it's the way the the kegs are or the way it's poured. I I would imagine it's some of the, the lines or the way it's poured. Right? The lines too would be a big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I got the Norditer. Uh, last week or a couple days ago at a place in downtown Nashville. And that was beautiful. Um, nice. I feel like I saw Alexander on draft a lot more in the last couple of years and less lately. I don't know what the deal is. The tavern in but, Lowell is, 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 is the place I was talking about. Okay. And it's still, it was still good. Don't get me wrong. Like it was still very good. Like it was like of one of my favorite things I had there, but it just, it, it didn't have that, that bite that, that I think I forgot about. Cause, cause I was drinking it there a lot. And then the first time I had cans was, in a while was, was last weekend. And I was like, Oh wow. I was like, I, I, I forgot all about this. It's, it's beautiful. And when you said earlier, the ease of getting it, um, Sean asked me if I had it and I didn't. And I said, well, I'm going to get gas. I can get on the way. And within like eight minutes, I had a four pack. It wasn't like, <laughs> it wasn't hard to find. You, you can it find Alexander, but you can't find Erdinger. <laughs> That's fair. Um, either way, 10 out of 10. Sorry. This beer rules. Oh, 10 out of 10. It's awesome. Like we knew going into this, that, that this was going to be sort of a, uh, more of a love letter than a review. Um, so folks, if you didn't know about shilling, we've, we've done multiple shilling beers on the channel. I don't know how it's taken us this long to do Alexander. It's just given how much I we drink it. You know what I mean? I didn't know that we didn't do it. I assume we had. It's, it's that beer that I think like, and this happened with other beers in the past. Like we, we, we both get it all the time. We love it and we just drink it. You know what I mean? Like we just drink it like before we can even review it. So, uh, I'm glad we finally were able to get it on the channel. Hopefully someone comments and goes, you assholes did it two years ago. But we didn't. That'd be okay. hilarious. No, I, I definitely don't think we did. I don't think we did. Um, but yeah, down in the comments, what do you think of Schilling Alexander? What do you think of Schilling in general? If you can get this beer, highly, highly recommend it. Um, if if our little love letter isn't enough, um, just go look it up. It's it's up there. It's it's fantastic. And then don't forget to check out nerdsense.net from there. All of our social media spots. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and notification bells so you're notified when we post new videos. And I'm Sean. That's that's Mike. Nope. Well, that's Ozzy. That's Mike there. <laughs> this is Nerd Sense. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. I'm embarrassed. Clink. Oh, sorry. Bam. <laughs> I was too busy. I was too busy being embarrassed. <laughs>